Link TV, connecting you to the world. Link TV is viewer supported. Watch more at linktv.org. Today on Earth Focus, climate scientist James Hansen on what we need to do about climate change. Dr. Hansen heads the NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies in New York City and is an adjunct professor at the Department of Earth and Environmental Studies at Columbia University. He calls for government leadership and citizen action. Coming up on Earth Focus. Well, things are not going the way they need to go. In fact, the carbon dioxide emissions keep increasing every year. And we're really running out of time because it's become clear that we are pushing the climate system so that it's going to pass tipping points. We can see that the ice sheets are beginning to disintegrate. The Arctic sea ice has decreased 30%. Mountain glaciers are melting all over the planet. Climate zones are shifting. We can see in the southern United States the more uh, extensive fires and also the Mediterranean region, Australia. So we can see climate is beginning to change, but the real problem is that the climate system has a lot of inertia. So we've only seen part of the change due to the gases that are already there. Uh, what is clear from the science is that we cannot burn all of the fossil fuels. We're going to have to leave a good fraction of them in the ground and the only practical way to do that is to phase out coal use over the next couple of decades and not to develop unconventional fossil fuels like tar sands and tar shale. But um, how to get that to happen? Well that's also clear because the fundamental fact is that as long as fossil fuels are the cheapest energy, we will just keep using them. And of course the reason they're cheapest is because they're not made to pay for their costs. Uh, they are partly subsidized, they don't pay for the impact on human health. More than a million people a year die of air and water pollution around the world, most of it due to fossil fuel pollution. And also they don't have to pay for the impact that they will have uh, on young people in the future, the damage to the environment and to the future of young people. So the way to solve the problem is to put a gradually rising price on carbon emissions. You collect a fee from fossil fuel companies at the mo domestic mine or port of entry and then you distribute uh, that money equally to the public and 60 percent of the people would get more in their monthly green check than they would pay in increased energy prices and that would allow people to change their lifestyles in, purchase more energy efficient vehicles etc and uh, that would be a path to uh, solving the problem. So far uh, that's not happening because there's so much resistance from the fossil fuel industry. They have such uh, an impact on senators and representatives and even the executive branch. So I think uh, what the only practical solution on, on a fairly short time scale would be to get the courts involved because the United States was founded on the concept that all people are created equal and that led to the uh, in the Constitution to the uh, equal protection of the laws. That equal protection of the laws is what was used to get uh, rights, uh, civil rights. Uh, the courts could tell the government, give us your plan for how you're going to desegregate. The same thing uh, should be true in this case. The courts, in, in this case, it's the young people who are are, are being discriminated against. They're going to have to pay the bill. The present generation burns the fossil fuels, but the problems are visited mainly on young people. So, in order to give them equal protection of the laws, the um, courts should tell the government to give us a plan for how you're going to phase down your emissions consistent with stabilizing climate over the next several decades. It would help enormously if the president would be behind this. But if he's not, then uh, citizens are going to have to bring cases themselves. And there are citizens in other countries as well as in the United States who are thinking about that and how that can be brought about. We're at a point where Congress is just doing absolutely nothing. So we've got to find a different way. And I think the courts are the best uh, prospects for solving the problem.
Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world. To learn more, visit linktv.org.